This, guys, is one of the original port lights from the 1989 Pursuit 2650, which is the Taco Marine Project boat. And while the team at Canvas Designers is busy on the hull liner, I want to fill in three openings in the hull with some new replacement port lights. And there are a lot of guys that have older boats that these things kind of get opaque, they look nasty, and you might want to think about making the boat look new again by adding just some port lights and they're not that expensive. Who we have on the program is Michael Blumker and Michael is with a company called High Tide Manufacturing Group and one of their brands is the Jim Black line. And we have several choices, everything that you make right here. What size is this, Michael? Three by 10, four by 14. These are rectangular in shape. This is uh, elliptical? Three by 15, correct. Okay. Six by 16 and five by 18. I took some rough measurements of our openings and it's a little bigger than 16 across, six inches tall. So I'm thinking this is going to be our replacement lens. Could you go through the process of how somebody, if they wanted to make their boat look new again, how they could replace a port light? The first thing we do is we'll take this trim ring and feed it in from the outside, uh, bend these tabs in, feed it from the outside. Um, we'll actually caulk this with marine grade silicone all the way around. We'll come back to the inside of the boat where there's a wooden trim ring and we'll actually bend these tabs to the proper location and then screw them into the wooden trim ring. Okay, and that's with a pan head screw, guys. Correct. Talk about the housing for the inside portion of our port light. Um, do we have to caulk that as well? It's, it's the most critical part of the install is to actually caulk and, and we need to go ahead and be pretty generous with our caulk on this. Either clear or white, whatever your choice is, okay. But you want to use a marine grade silicone, uh, not, not a 5200 or anything like that. Could you rotate that, that around and, and when the port light's on the inside of the boat, do you want the window to come down or do you want the lens to actually lift up? 99% uh, of all the installs at the OEMs have always lifted up. Okay, fantastic. So we want to make sure that we caulk it, and again, we're going to be using some self-tapping screws. How's the lens different from back in the day? Pursuit used an acrylic lens here that can kind of turn color. If you ever use um, ammonia on this, it'll turn opaque. How is a Jim Black lens different? It's Jim designed this to, uh, with DOT spec tempered glass, and the resin that he always used, uh, it's all impervious to harsh chemicals and cleaners. Okay, so you can use acetone cleaning them up if there's any smudges or anything like that. Ballpark, how much, if, if somebody had an older Bayliner or a Scout or a Pursuit or a Chaparral, there, there's, there's a lot of boats that use the 16 by six port lights. What would they invest? About $170 per, per port light. Okay, very, very affordable. Where? Could somebody in the audience actually get one? Hardtofindboatparts.com, which is powered by Great Lake Skipper. Okay. And then we have at our website uh, a whole list of other distributors as well. Give us that website. www.gotohmg.com.